All right, welcome back to the chaos of Manila. And I have just uh, spoken with the staff at my hotel and they told me about a market nearby, which is called Giapo Market. And they said it's probably the biggest market here in Manila. So I am very curious to check it out. And it's not far from here. Let's head over there, explore the biggest market in Manila and see what we can find. Hello, uh, I would like to go to Kiapo Market. How much? 100. 100? Okay. All right. Ah. Oh, the van is coming with us. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Hello. Wow, these tricycles are, are about to become my favorite way of transportation here. It's always fun to uh, drive around the cities with these interesting vehicles. I can start here? Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, salamat. Thank you. 100 for you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Yeah, let me uh, navigate a little bit around and then uh, see what interesting things we can find. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, let me cross the street. Okay. So, I think it will be like several streets here and there that probably all look like this. Uh, this is a uh, sweet corn. White corn. White corn. How much is one? 20. Okay, can I get one please? Oh, this looks uh, very hot. 20 pesos. I saw a lot of these corn vendors around the city before. And it always looks so good, but I haven't tried it yet. How, how do you eat this? Just, just like this? It's not, not too hot? Okay, let me, let me try it. Oh, it's very hot. <laughs> I can almost not hold it with the hands. What are they saying? I'm very curious. Oh, it's very hot. How do you eat this? <laughs> you have a plastic bag? Plastic now. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will eat it in one minute or so. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's, it's so hot. I literally almost can't hold it in my hand. So I need to uh, let it cool down a little bit and then in a few minutes uh, I can give it a try. But it smells very good so far, so I'm very uh, excited to try it. So we will eat the corn in a minute. Let's see if we can find something else. Oh, I see a Gucci uh, scarf here. That looks interesting. <laughs> hello, hello. Come <laughs> Oh, maybe some, some sweets here. Um, do you have something sweet here? Yes, all of that. Is this all sweet? I would like to try something that is very typical from the Philippines. Some, uh, some Filipino sweets. <laughs> Hello, Kamustaka. I would like to try uh, something that is very typical for the Philippines. Sweet. This is sweet? Banana. Banana? Banana. Ah. Is this uh, with sugar outside? Sugar, right? And this is crispy banana? Oh, maybe I, I would like to get this one. Crispy banana? Okay, banana chips. How do you call this? How do you call this? Banana, uh, banana chips. In English and in uh, Filipino? Yes, that's a banana. How, how do you say banana in Filipino? Banana. Saging. Saging? 
Okay, uh, how much is this one? 25. 25 pesos, okay. 25 Alright, let's, uh, let's get some banana chips here. Very affordable. Very affordable, that's right. It's not expensive. Delicious. Delicious. Uh, Masarap. Masarap. Let's see, I have 50 here. Okay. Oh, okay, 50 for you. Banana chips for me. Okay, crispy banana. I think I like to eat bananas in all types of form. You maybe remember one of the previous videos where I had like this hot banana which was surrounded by sugar. The huge banana, it was really delicious. Oh, thank you very much. Salamat. Bye bye. <laughs> I was driving uh, with the motorbike, with the tricycle through the market. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> That is typical Southeast Asia for me. People driving through a market with their motorbikes. You see that in Thailand as well, in Malaysia. But definitely not uh, where I'm from in Germany. So it's always uh, very uh, interesting for me to see. I love the vibes here. Very nice. Oh yes, that's it. Hello. Can I get a pineapple? You, you cut it? Oh, very nice. Oh, fresh fruits. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, is this a um, uh, uh, melon? Papaya. Papaya. Oh, sorry. Even with the tuk-tuks driving through the market here. Um, is it possible to get uh, half papaya and half pineapple? Hello. <laughs> ah, that's nice because uh, fresh fruits. I really like to eat fresh fruits, especially in the morning. And usually when you are in these tropical countries, the fruits are always very delicious. Okay, let's see. Some pineapples, some uh, papaya. The papaya from uh, from the Philippines, right? Yes, sir. It's not imported? No. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. That was my guess. Oh, there's so much more going on here. All the streets are basically uh, full with vendors. That is so interesting to see. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. How much you get? 45. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. You have just 50, 50 is okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Salamat. Salamat. Um, so my hands are pretty full. As usual, I'm on the market for like 10 minutes and my hands are full. Um, the place to... Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, something to drink here. That comes in handy. Hello. Pineapple. What is this? Pineapple? Yes. And this one? Coconut? Boko juice. What juice? Oh, yeah. Boko, boko. Coconut. Coconut. Okay. Coconut. Can I can I mix coconut and pineapple? Can I get half coconut and half pineapple? Mixed together? No. no. Cannot. Bad. And uh, pineapple? Bad taste. Hmm? Bad taste. Bad taste. Is mixed together? Yes. Okay, then uh, just pineapple, please. So uh, mash it up. Mash it up. Mash it up. Mash it up. Little boy up. Little boy up. How much is the bag? Twenty-five pesos. Twenty-five pesos. Oh, actually, uh, here. Oh, blogger, oh, blogger. <laughs> blogger. Let me put it in here. 25? Uh, I have 50. Okay. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. How much you get? 10 pesos. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay, have a good day. Ah, my change. Thank you very much. Oh, no. oh. Salamat, thank you very much. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. What? There, 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 there. there. Oh, picture, picture. Picture? Yeah, yes, yes. You yes. want picture? <laughs> Where can I go? Like, how big is this market? Market? Yeah, is it more here or more here? Of the over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Germany. Oh. 
Germany. Nice yes, I'm very happy to be in the Philippines. Well, it's once again a little bit overwhelmed here because, um, yeah, as a foreigner here, I always get a lot of attention, especially when holding a camera in my hands. And to be honest, I'm not really uh, the type of person that uh, loves attention. I don't really like to be in the center of uh, attention. I'm not really like an extroverted person. So these, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> So um, whenever I'm on these uh, super busy markets, which I love, you, you see me on these markets uh, in many videos, um, I love to explore these markets, but it's always leaving the comfort zone for me, you know? Because yeah, being surrounded by all these people staring at me, and yeah, I'm not really a, a super extroverted guy. So it's always leaving my comfort zone, but that's what I love about traveling. You need to challenge yourself, leave your comfort zone, that makes you uh, grow as a person. Oh, we do have a church here and I think that the market is basically surrounding the church. And actually this is the first time I see a church here in Manila. But probably not the last time because uh, the majority of the people here in the Philippines is Christian. So I guess I will see many of churches like this all around the country. Hello, hello. What is this for? That is a candle. Wishing candle and for like, a, I think it's something religious here. You you burn it. People people buy the the can, the, the candles, and then you burn it, and then. This one is a wishing candle. Ah, so different colors have different meaning. I see. Okay. And this one color, and this one. Okay. How much is one candle? Fifty pesos. Fifty pesos for for one color. No 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 no. Ten pesos each. 10 pesos each. Yeah. Ah, okay. What color is uh, the popular one which most people choose? Mm. Uh, what, what do most people, uh, which color they buy? Green. The green is one. For financial money. Okay. And the, uh, all of that. All of that? Yes. So you, you sell packages with, yes. with many colors? Yes. And that's 50 that's pesos? Color. Yes, this is 50 pesos. Okay, if I buy it, then you burn for me? Okay, I would like to see that. Okay, yes, please. 50 pesos, right? Yes. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here. If I understand it correctly, then, yeah, people burn these candles and then... This one is wishing. Wishing. Hmm? Wishing candle for tank for everything. But we, we burn now? Yes. Okay. Then uh, you get the money, I get the candles. Okay, let's see how this works. Can I can I put the back here for for uh, the time I'm here? So I have both of my hands free. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Salamat. Um, salamat. Salamat. <laughs> okay. How how do we do this now? You burn it. So uh, I think I need to put uh, get the candles out here. No 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 no. No no no. Yes. Everything together. Yes, yes. What about the paper? No, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All together. All of that, together. Okay. All right, there's Lynn. I think the, the wind is coming. I really have to. Uh... May I help? Yeah, maybe you can help me. You are the expert here. Hello, hello. Ah. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so we place the candles in here now. Okay, so I have a right candle now. This is for for wish and purity, so I can make a wish. Three time I wish, but I don't say it, right? Yeah, that's how it works in my country as well. You uh, you wish inside your head, but you don't say it out loud. Three wishes. Okay, let me think of three wishes that I have. Um, okay, one, two. Okay, I made three wishes. Okay, then what else? We have uh, the green one, which is uh, financial and money. So I get good. Financial money, uh, payments for everything to the family. Okay. Uh, love life, business travel, and everything. Uh huh. Okay. And also, uh, it smells here like, um, uh, how do you say that? There's a 
smell to the to the candles. Not really sure how to say that in English. So then we have the, the pink one, which is love and health. So I'm uh, looking uh, to a bright pitch. Oh no! <laughs> I can't give money to everyone here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. I can't give money to everyone. I'm very sorry, guys. Yeah, so we have love, then we have um, the yellow one, which is for good spirit. Yes. So I get a good spirit. And we have the purple one, violet. Violet for material wealth. Material wealth. Yes. So uh, I get like a that car. That is a or rainbow house. color, wishing. Uh -huh. candle. Wishing candle, okay. Love is consent, this one. Love consent. Consent, ah. Oh. Alice! <laughs> This one is consent. I'm not sure what consent is. I'm, uh, I'm not an English native speaker, so I don't know the word con... con is it conscience? I'm not really sure what it means. But uh, no, no black, I don't need black. Don't use this anymore. Okay. Alright. So how, how long does it burn for? All of that. But now it burns down? Yeah. And what about the paper? That the paper will burn too. Oh, okay. Ah. So I guess this is like I see many of these places here with the with the candles. So I think people just uh, let it burn. Probably it burns for how how long does it burn? Like one hour? No. No. We have an hour. Okay. I'm just checking the, the paper here actually and there's a prayer written on it in the Filipino language so I can't understand it but um, yeah okay so we have a prayer written on these candles ah you have more prayers in, in your bag ah okay ah. ah this one is in English as well prosperity candle Ah, yeah, here the, the colors are explained again. Ah, I can keep this? Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a religious person, not at all to be honest. But uh, I always like to, uh, to learn about the, the cultures or the religions of the, the countries that I visit. And the majority of people here is Christian. So I like to uh, learn about how they uh, practice their Christianity here in the country. Okay, Salamat. Have a good day. <laughs> salamat po. Yeah, I'm always happy to learn. Yeah, al although I'm not a religious person, uh, I like to learn about these things. Actually, it seems to be very popular here. All these uh, places here selling these candles. Interesting, okay. All right, I have just been inside the church. It was not allowed to take videos or pictures inside. So I can't show you the inside. Of course, I respect that. If uh, the people to say me, I'm not allowed to take pictures or videos inside. But yeah, it's, it's a huge hall. Many statues of Jesus or I think angels. And many people inside actually praying. There's peaceful and calm music playing in the background, which actually is a Funny contrast because from the outside you hear all the city noises, emergencies driving by and then inside there's this peaceful, quiet uh, music. Hello, hello. So yeah, it was quite interesting to see. Hello, hello. Um, I'm not really sure how actively the people here are practicing the religion. Like to give you an example, where I'm from in Germany, the majority of people is also Christian, but most people don't really active practice in the Christianity like most people in Germany never go to church most people don't pray um, so I'm not really or I would like to learn how it is here like are most people active religious people or most people are not really that active if you know more about that if you are from the Philippines uh, let me know in the comment section I'm really curious to know about that check this out I came across this little shop it looks like a little bakery and whenever I see something green in Asia uh, I get curious because it's probably pandan and I love pandan flavor. Hello. Uh, what is this, the, the green one? Uh, pandan. Pandan, right? Yeah. Okay, how much is one? Eight pesos. Okay, can I get one please? <laughs> yes, it is indeed pandan and I love pandan flavor. This looks very delicious. 
Thank you very much. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if I have something. Okay. okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Um, this guy kept following me for quite a while now. I'm not actually. I have a question, guys. If you are from uh, from Manila or from the Philippines. Please let me know um, how do you react to uh, begging children? Because to be honest, I'm not sure how to uh, to handle that. Like, do you give them money? Is it not good to give them money in order not to support their begging? I'm really not sure, and I don't want to like be disrespectful. I just want to do the right thing, you know. So please let me know in the comment section how do you usually. Uh, handled situations when there are begging children around you because yeah I'm, I'm really not sure so uh, yeah anyway um we have a lot of things to try now I collected everything in my uh, in the bag that I bought here let's see if we can find a place where I can uh, try all of this a little bit more quiet <laughs> hello 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 what are you selling here t-shirts yeah only do you, 100 pesos. Do you have uh, basketball jerseys? What? Do you have basketball jersey? No. No basketball? No. Only these t-shirts? Yeah. Ah. Like this, cotton. Like cotton. Croton? Cotton t-shirts. What is our uh, cotton t-shirts? Yeah. Uh, cotton is better because... Uh, 150? 150? Yeah. I make YouTube videos. Wow. <laughs> do you have I'm a... Handsome. Uh, I'm handsome? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You say uh, guapo? Guapo. Guapo in the Philippines, right? Yeah. Oh, I learned that already. <laughs> Do we have a t-shirt with Philippines? No. no Philippine. I would like to have a, I would like to have a Filipino t-shirt. Like a Filipino flag or Philippines t-shirt. It's a second hand t-shirt here, right? Yeah. Mm? That's why the, the price is uh, very good actually. Oh you have a little cat here as well, hello? <laughs> is this your cat? Yeah. Yeah? Wanda. Oh, even with Wanda? Yeah. Oh, with a little necklace here? Yes. Oh, with a lion necklace? Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> ah. No Filipino t shirt? No. Ah, okay, that's very unfortunate. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, have a good day. Yeah. Maybe you remember the Filipino t shirt I bought in uh, my first impressions video with the Filipino writing on it, but actually it's, it's a little bit too small, although it's a double XL, but uh, it's a little bit too small, so if I find a new t-shirt, which is a little bit bigger, then uh, I probably would buy another one. All right, I found a place, uh, I don't want to say a quiet place, but uh, a place to sit down. Uh, I just asked the police officers next to me, if I, I think it's a police stand here, but I asked them if I can uh, sit down here for a minute. And yeah, let's see what we have in our bag. I'm very curious to try the, the pandan thing here. Let's give this a try right away. It's a great place to do that. People watching here, a busy road here, so many things going on around me. <laughs> hello, hello. Kamustaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yeah, happening place here, a happening place. Let's uh, give some food a try. I think by now the, the corn should be uh, should be cold enough to eat. Oh, this looks delicious. I already know that I like this before I try it. Oh yeah. The sweet pastry with uh, with pandan flavor. If you don't know pandan flavor, it's one of my favorite flavors in Asia. Like this coconut tish flavor. Mm. And I think this one was only 8 pesos. You know what, the, the corn is still very hot. I really wonder how people eat this. Because it's, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago or so that I bought it. Oh, actually, it's okay to eat now. Okay, is there anything special to it or is it just regular corn? It's 
not really that strong of a corn flavor. You can also see it's not really that yellow. I think you said it's ripe corn. So maybe this is a type of corn that is not as yellow as the normal corn and therefore the taste is not as cornish strong. Ooh, but it's good. It's not bad. I'm from Germany. Huh? I'm from Germany. Germany. Germany, yes. And uh, my first time in the Philippines. Good looking guy. Good looking guy. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Salamat. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Once again, I am very um, amazed by the welcoming people here. People are talkative. People randomly uh, speak to me, say hello, say welcome to the Philippines, stuff like that. It also happens a lot off camera when I'm not filming. Amazing. I love the people here so far. Actually, there's a mini shop. I haven't been to a Filipino supermarket yet. And let me, know, let me tell you one thing. If I'm in a new country, I really like to go to supermarkets. Because, yeah, it's nice to see like, what people shop in their everyday normal life, you know? Let's see if I can cross the street here safely without dying. Okay. Um, so I would be curious to see a supermarket, but I think this is not a proper supermarket, unfortunately. Looks more like a 7 Eleven type of thing. Let's have a look. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's have a quick look inside. Um, oh, we have uh, Nestle here, beer brand. I remember that from my childhood. We have uh, Filipino beers here. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try uh, Filipino beer in another video. Or oh, even alcohol free beer here, San Miguel free. I think I haven't seen alcohol free beer since I left Germany. In Germany it's actually very popular to uh, get beer without alcohol. Basically every brand of beer has also a non-alcoholic version. But I think I never saw a zero alcohol beer before in Asia. Oh yeah, you can get uh, food here as well. Yeah, it uh, looks like a, like a Filipino version of uh, 7-Eleven here. Yeah, like a little convenience store. What I really like about uh, the 7-Elevens here that all of them I have been to so far have a seating area. So like, like the area here. So when you get some snacks at the 7-Eleven, you can uh, actually sit down and eat. And check this out. Hello. Oh, it's your, your cats? Your cats? Oh, little baby cats here. Oh my God, that's so cute. We have one, two, three, four, five little baby cats here. Oh, hello. <laughs> you like it? Yes, I'm very cute. Oh. Why well, you sell the cats here? Yes. Really? How much is one cat? Uh, how much? <laughs> not not for sale? Yes. Oh, that, that's good. Oh, I'm wondering why uh, there's a box uh, with cats here. Oh, oh very uh, very cute. Okay, <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, what are you selling here? Ah, chicken? Chicken. Fish? Fried chicken. Chicken and eggs. Oh, what, what is this here? Luncheon meat. Meat? Luncheon meat. Ah, okay. And fish. Okay, okay. How old are you? I'm 31. 31. Uh, I'm from Germany. Uh, Germany. Germany, yes. And my first time in the Philippines. You are going, going in the yes, Philippines? I, I walk around and I want to travel around the Philippines. Uh, how, how can you say about Philippines? I really like it here so far. <laughs> very nice. Uh, very nice. The people are very nice. Oh, I have a great time here so far. Okay, nice to meet you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Ah. Oh, they uh, have a lot of uh, cats here on the streets. There's another one here. I have to say this area really reminds me uh, about Bangkok in Thailand because there's so much happening on the streets 
like people selling uh, food on the street, having little shops on the street where you can basically buy everything. I'm not sure, like I think in the next days I'm going to explore different areas of Manila. So, so far I only stayed in this area. But I'm very curious to see other parts of the town as well. So I will probably move to a new area, maybe tomorrow or the next day. And then we have a look around the different areas. But this part of the town, um, yeah, similar like Bangkok, um, when, you, when you think about stuff going on on the streets, you know. But uh, one, one kilo is too much. Can I can I only buy um, two bananas? Like uh, just just two? Or do you all only sell in uh, big pieces? Because uh, I don't need ten bananas, only uh, one or two bananas. That would be that would be great actually. <laughs> oh yeah, she's uh, 50 pesos. 15. 15 pesos for two bananas here on the streets. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. You, you come here every day to sell bananas? You, you come here every day? Oh my god, my hotel over there? Maybe I come back. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, you can get uh, indeed fresh fruit, fruits here. Oh, some, some lemons here. Hello, hello. Is this a... Uh, what? Philippine corn pot. Philippine corn pot? Very sweet. Sweet. Uh, can, I, can I try it? It looks, uh, the inside looks like orange, but the outside looks like a lime. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, is it uh, have seed inside? No. No seed? Oh, that's great. Okay. That oh, smells like an orange. What, what was the name? Hon Gang. It's not an orange? Oh. Okay, let's try this. Uh, she said it's not an orange. Mm. It's not as sweet as an orange and it's not as sour. Oh, very good. Mm. Uh, muscle up. Can I, can I buy one? I want to buy this one and... This one? Um, and this one? No, no, not one kilo, just one piece. No, no, no. Just uh, this one? This one? Uh, hmm? It's not so sweet. It's uh, not as sweet as an orange. But I like it. Okay, how much for this? Hmm? 20? 30. Okay, uh, let me put it in my bag. Actually, the, the bag I bought earlier is quite handy. <laughs> Okay. Um, 30, right? Oh, I have 50 here. Okay. Okay. Salamat. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that's uh, what you need to do. Try food, fruits and stuff that you've never tried before. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I never saw this fruit before. So the inside looked like an orange, the outside looked like a lime. Maybe it's like a fusion fruit, I don't know how to say that, but interesting. Anyhow, if you haven't seen my previous video on another big market here, which was my first impression video, also a huge market, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.